What's good with y'all boys, man? I hope y'all are staying blessed as always and welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's video, I finally made the most meta build I possibly could, the 632 guard for pro -Am. Now this build's gonna get gold limitless takeoff. It's gonna get contact dunks. It's gonna get gold agent threes. It's gonna be, get hall of fame unpluckable gold handles for days. It's gonna get a really high passing accuracy to throw dots. It's gonna get a 95 steal rating, right? It's gonna get a high acceleration of course a high vertical and stamina for the dunk animations and just stamina in general so if you're ready for today's video go ahead and press that like button subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this let's go ahead and get into it you should make this build at point guard but i made mine shooting guard if you are playing pro am make them shooting guard so you'll be b or circle because you want the point guard to be rba or rbx you know depending if you're on xbox or playstation so i just made mine shooting guard but if you're just chilling playing rec and park you can make a point guard it really doesn't make a difference now for height we're gonna go six three which which is the meta height it's six one at the one and then the six three at the two guard and six three is a fire height it's troll if you go six four six five six two but for the weight we're not gonna go lowest we're gonna go 186 so we can get these stats you guys want to copy all of this exactly and a 611 wingspan that's one less than max wingspan on a point guard build we're gonna get defense on on to the attributes driving dunk you want to take that all the way up to an 86 driving dunk so we're gonna get gold limitless takeoff and silver posterizer and we get the contact dunk animations you know available for us so if we if we got to dunk that thing we can dunk that thing but we don't just want that we want to take our layup up get the gold giant slayer so we can make our layups you definitely want a little bit of layup bro because if you get you're not gonna get a dunk animation every time bro a little bit of close shot you get 16 finishing badges you only have to add one more of your extra badges on the finishing if you get gold limitless takeoff then you can core something you get gold giant slayer you get fearless finisher acrobat you get masher i mean really you you just want to get the limitless takeoff and the post riser core the limitless takeoff and they gonna have to respect you bro and when they respect you you can dot or you can dunk meter on top of their head now for shooting on this build you want an 89 three point rating that's going to give you some good jump shot animations and it's going to give you gold agent threes which this is a blessing as soon as you put gold agent threes on it's like you can't miss a fade now this is controversial because a lot of two guards they'll go 92 three-point rating for the gold limitless range but i'm telling you it's not needed at the two bro if you're playing pro -Am. and if you're just playing park and rec you don't need gold limitless a lot of people don't even have limitless right so you want to go one up on the mid-range to get the good uh, or another shooting badge and then a 72 free throw like i said i'm playing rec and pro -Am. i've been playing rec a lot more by the way add me up bro we always need one for rec but you people don't even really have limitless range equip a lot bro and even silver is really really good you get to hit consistently from deep but you see how the gold agent threes is working for us we're pulling up fades confidently on the fast break look at this bro that's an easy quick drop dunk no we got gold agent threes why wouldn't we take that through you feel me we're pinching up top playing good defense we have good lateral quickness and again just taking those threes you'll see a lot of people do that in, in the comp pro am just to get because you need threes bro you need threes and look at that even if it's not a fast break and you just have you have the high excel and you're fading you're going to be able to hit that at a very high rate now for ball handle they usually go 89 but i'm going 95 bro sometimes i'll go 94 sometimes i'll go 92 sometimes i'll go 89 bro which is you know real sweaty but i'm bro i need that hall of fame unpluckable bro gold unpluckable is troll i just be getting ripped bro especially if you got lockdowns guarding you people pinching you and all this i need that hall of fame unpluckable bro and with this you get gold handles for days and not only does that allow me to dribble more and kill my defender but that allows my stamina to be better and higher whenever i go to shoot the ball so i don't get as much of a penalty for shooting the ball whenever you know i have a lower stamina so the gold handles for days is a w now we're going to go to a 76 fuel ball michael jordan uh dribble style and we get the extra badge point now i usually go 75 passing accuracy but we did go a little bit up if we're going to be playing fives tens we want you know our passes to be crispy and we get that extra badge point you see right there you're like you see in the clips bro i'm throwing dots bro throwing dots in the playmaking now and you see me with the dribble moves i'm gonna get blinders on this build it's gonna be disgusting bro it is going to be nasty the takeovers this build get it gets like every single takeover it gets bad out here but like i said i need that hall of fame unpluggable i i hate playing without it and especially gold handles for days i hate playing with silver but on the defense man you want a 78 perimeter defense that's going to give you another badge right there but your perimeter defense is also your lateral quickness 
So I wouldn't go anything less than like a 70. I see people, some demigods can go with like a 70, 71 lateral quickness, perimeter defense, and that could still be all right. But I'm going with a 78 just because, you know, I want to be a little bit faster. And the steal is what we're really doing. Now, guarding, being the two guard, you're having the lock guard ball and you're guarding the off ball guard, right? So you really want that high wingspan like we got with the gold interceptor and gold glove. You even get silver pick dodger. You get menace, workhorse gold, and you get the off ball pest. Now, this is going to be really good because that gold glove is going to kick in because a lot of two guards, they only have that gold unpluggable. So you're ripping that for days. And if the point guard throws a pass to the shooting guard, you can bait those lanes and you have the wings span for it you have the badges for it this isn't a guard build that you guys see with absolutely no defense i don't have like defensive clips just because i wasn't really clipping and i was really just you know clipping you know offensive possessions crabbing and just going crazy with the drill moves but get, having gold glove bro you load into the wreck you're ripping anybody with less than hall of fame unpluckable like, i hate bro i hate feeling helpless on defense bro like i have no impact on the defensive side of the floor like if i'm not helping defensively and making an impact defensively i feel like i lose so many many more games bro and i just get so frustrated that my build has you know t-rex arms i can't play the lane somebody will throw the pass right through me he'll shoot right over me i hate that bro but on this build i can make a huge impact on offense have contact dunks shoot fades all game contested like you see right here get crazy takeovers but also having a 95 steal and then a 78 perimeter defense it's looking good now for vertical you want a 75 to unlock all the dunk animations now if you're on current gen that does not apply to you they you don't need vertical for the dunks but for next gen, you're going to need a 75, a 90 acceleration would be really fast, and then a 99 stamina, or you can go 97 stamina and go one up on speed. I did end up going 97 stamina and one up on the speed, but either way, whichever you go, it's not going to be game-breaking impact, bro. Just, you know, whichever one you want. I just want like my speed because that's off-ball playing lanes and, you know, being getting down the court defensively, you know, off-ball, two-stepping, backdoor cuts. Like, I just wanted that little bit of speed. It's not going to really even feel, make, it's not going to make a difference. But I just wanted that. But to recap the build, we get the contact dunks. We get a good layup in case we get, you know, bumped out of a contact dunk or something. Or just the dunk animation in general. I promise you with a low layup, even with the slightest contest, you're going to miss that layup. But we get an 89 three-point rating for the gold limitless or the gold agent threes. And then a 75 mid-range. So we can pull up from mid to mid-range is troll. But 72, a free throw, making every free throw. We get the 95 ball handle for Hall of Fame unpluggable gold handles. We get the good dribble style. We get a 79 passing accuracy to throw dots like you guys see in the clips. 78 perimeter defense and a 95 steal so this build gets defense and it's just an all-around demon and it's uh, like fast as hell you get the contact dunks you get the high stamina too so this build can really do everything and if you have it in the right hands bro it could be really really deadly now again if you're on current gen you probably don't need a 79 passing accuracy you take that down like a 70 or something but i'm just speaking in general now for takeovers easy blow buys is an insanely op takeover if you can dunk meter easy blow buys is a cheat code but you also get shot creating takeover i use negative impact over the fading one just because I'm a time my fade regardless, bro. And if their contests don't count, it's going to be tough, bro. But sharpshooting takeover, this is self-explanatory. Limitless range, a lot of people. You'll see everybody rock this takeover. You could shoot from half court without even the badge equipped itself. It's pretty crazy. But you also get playmaking takeover. Very underrated. But if you want to see your teammate shine, you can rock that too. I myself go negative impact and limitless range. And you get the name three-point shot creator. But if you don't know, everybody's glitching their names now. It, just look up on YouTube how to glitch or your replica build name and you you know you'll you'll get that so i got a different name but this is an update on my build he's already a 96 overall we get you know a lot of badges i'm still trying to core limitless takeoff right now i'm rocking you know silver catch and shoot because i'm spawning up on the other hash and i'm still on that agent three core grind you feel me so that's gonna be a long grind but gold green machine that's that's a w quick first step unpluckable hall of fame we know that now i do love clamp breaker over killer combos but i'm almost you know done coring killer combos and if i have to run the double playmaking core i could do that but i probably won't do that because it takes away the shooting core so i'm probably gonna have to do the double shooting core which is gonna be a lot like a lot more of a grind but we'll get to that when we get to that now we got menace i'm not a big fan of menace because you know you have to be initiate contact right and without clamps and just in the game how the game plays in general that's pretty troll but you don't get too much contact but we get gold workhorse now i was trying to core glove gold but I found out that it is way easier and faster to core interceptor you see right here. So if you have both of these 
bad is in tier three go ahead and core interceptor before you core glove and your grind will be a whole lot faster a whole lot easier just some other badges thrown around there you know chase down off ball rebound you know i'll probably just do gold uh, off ball pass for for real but these are the attributes right here we got an 86 driving dunk i was smoking layups with like a 55 layup make sure you upgrade your layup 89 three point rating 95 ball handle we get the 75 passing style or passing you know and just you know all around in general bro i'm having a lot of fun on this build so if you want to see more gameplay of this build or even me at the two guard in the prime make sure y'all show this video some love bro i hope y'all had a merry christmas don't forget if you want a 2k labs premium membership go ahead and use code Kozat at checkout as always i love y'all boys and i'll catch y'all in the next video